morning, everyone, and welcome to another edition of WNBA Tops Prize Pick Plays presented by Prize Picks. I am Cooper Boni for Odd Shopper. You guys can find me on social media at Crashboards DFS. A couple of picks for tonight's game three between the Sun and the Wings, guys. But before we get into that, let's look at some of our picks from yesterday. We played Kalia Copper over 0.5 blocks and steals. She hit that in the first quarter. And we played Courtney Vandersloot over 11 and a half points. She hit that in the first half. So by halftime, we hit both of our props from yesterday, going 2-0 on the night, along with a 1-0 from our best bet series. So 3-0 on the night last night. Let's see if we can't do the same thing tonight, guys. Get another little sweep. The first pick I want to talk about with you guys is going to be John Quell Jones over 31 and a half fantasy score. A couple notes I have here, you guys. She is averaging 34.2 fantasy score over her last five games. That includes a fantasy score of 36 over the first two games of this series on average. So playing very well to start this series. The Sun lost last game by 10. She still had a very good game dropping 37 or so fantasy points. Uh, over the regular season, John Cole Jones matched up against the Wings three times. She averaged 12, 8, 1 with two stocks per game. That's good for an average of 27.6 fantasy score per game. Uh, over the first two games in the series, she's averaged 29, 2, and 1.5 and stocks per game. I expect that her minutes and stat line will be even higher in this game considering the circumstances. It's game three, a winner go home. The Sun know that they are one of the teams that people expect to make a finals run. So expect her and this whole team really to come out playing hard. I think John Quell should have a very good night tonight. Jones is the reigning WNBA MVP, you guys. She will be ready for this game. I look at it similarly to how I looked at Candace Parker last night. Uh, Candace Parker stepped up in that game three. She had a monster game. She's the leader. She's the best player on that team. I think the same thing goes for John Quell Jones tonight against Dallas. The league's best players just kind of find ways to play their best in the most important situations, particularly in the WNBA. There's definitely a skill gap in the WNBA compared to, let's say, the NBA. I mean, there's a skill gap in the NBA as well. But when you're watching the WNBA, you can tell the league's top players are extremely talented and the league's average players are just that average. You see a lot of dominant games from the league's top players whenever it's a very important situation like tonight. Jones is averaging 11 field goal attempts per game in this series, including three three-point attempts per game. And she's also had seven and a half free throw attempts per game in this game's first two. So she's doing it every way, guys. She's rebounding the ball. She is shooting a lot of shots. She's shooting a lot of three-point shots. And she's getting the line. That's really all you can ask for whenever you are looking at a fantasy score prop. And the last thing I have for this one, guys, is that while Tierra McCowan is a great young player for Dallas, she's a very, very solid young player but she's had no answer for jones scoring ability in this series i look for jones to play mvp caliber basketball in a must win she should be able to lead this squad to a semifinals appearance tier mccown is great offensively but she is still learning when it comes to that defensive side of the ball and typically john paul jones just kind of has her way with her so really liking this john paul jones over 31 and a half fantasy score before we hop into the second pick guys as always want to mention the show is brought to you by prize picks they have a promo going on right now it is a 100 percent first deposit match up to 100 dollars if you guys head over and use the promo code awesomeo for podcast listeners a w e s e m o head on over to prize fix guys type in that promo code and get in on this first match deposit up to $100 there's also a link down below you guys can click that and head on over there or you can download prize fix on app store or google play all right guys well, let's hop into the second and final pick of the night that one is going to be Alicia Gray over 12 and a half projected fantasy score in the first half we've been taking Alicia Gray's three-point prop she's missed the last two times I'm not going back to it again I refuse to be beat by that prop three games in a row Instead, we're going to switch it over to the projected fantasy score of 12 and a half in the first half. Uh, a couple notes. Arike will likely return tonight, guys. She's listed as probable. That gives the Sun more to focus on defensively. I expect Alicia Gray to continue playing well while possibly getting even more uncontested usage in terms of shots, rebounds, assists due to Arike being on the floor. Uh, the return of Ogumba Wale should also help Gray in the assist game. As I mentioned, she's already averaging five assists per game in this series. Give her another weapon out on the court to pass the ball to. I think it bodes well for Alicia Gray. And as I said, a lot more defensive attention is going to have to be on Enrique Ogumbawale, considering she is going to play tonight. I am taking the first half simply because Gray's been coming out of the gates real hot in this series and also just 
in the regular season, she's been doing that. She comes out, she's a spark plug for this team, whether it's shooting threes, grabbing rebounds, or dishing the rock. She comes out almost every game and has a nice start to the game. Whenever this team performs well, it's normally because Alicia Gray's coming out and provided some sort of juice while the game starts. Also, when closing time comes around, normally the wings are down. And if they're not down, it's Arike Ogumbawale trying to close out those games. So because she is so ball dominant sometimes, and if this game's going to come down to the wire, I like the idea of just taking the first half prop for Alicia Gray. So we don't even have to worry about who's closing the game. We don't have to pray, oh, I hope the game's close. And I hope that Alicia Gray is going to kind of be this ball dominant closer tonight because Arike is coming back from injury. We don't have to think about that stuff. We'll just leave it at first half and hope that she has a nice performance in the first two quarters. She's played five games against Connecticut this year, guys. She's averaging 14, 6, 3, and 2 stocks per game, and she has rarely turned the ball over. That stat line, good for an average fantasy score of nearly 32 in her five games against the Sun. Cut that in half. I know it doesn't exactly work like that, but let's cut it in half. That average is 16 fantasy score. The prop for this is 12 and a half first half. So I like that. She's played better in first halves than she has in second halves for the majority of the season. As I mentioned, she is that spark plug. She is that player that comes out and gets the team going while she's not necessarily the closer. Uh, she comes out and she knows how to get this team energized from the jump. And the last note I had here, guys, last 10 game report. She's been playing so well, 35 minutes per game. She's been shooting 11 times per game, including five attempts from three per game. And in those 10 games, three and a half free throw attempts on average. So every which way she's getting it done. She's been averaging a lot of rebounds. She's been assisting the ball when she needs to. This just sets up well. Someone on this team is going to need to play well in the first half. I would assume one to three players have to play pretty well if they want to keep this game close because I think the Sun are going to come out ready to go in this one. So I'm thinking Alicia Gray is going to be one of those players. I'm very comfortable, as you see her last five game report, averaging 17 fantasy score in the first half over her last five games i'm rolling with this pick i really like it again guys the picks for tonight alicia gray 12 and a half projected fantasy score and john quill jones 31 and a half projected fantasy score we're taking the over on both of those all right you guys that's going to do it for me as always like subscribe to the odd chopper youtube page guys getting notified the content coming out is non-stop a lot of great content a lot of great content creators and so many sports if you guys like MLB, PGA, UFC, we have all that. Obviously, NFL, NBA are coming right up, and you guys have me for your WNBA needs. So I appreciate you guys coming and checking out the content, as always. I had a bad night the other night. Came back last night with a clean sweep. I'm going for another sweep again tonight, guys. If you guys are betting anything, uh, comment down below. Let me know what you're taking. Let me know what you're tailing. Or if you're fading one of my picks, uh, let me know why. All right, guys, hope everyone makes some money tonight. Hope everybody has a good time watching the game. And I will talk to you for the next playoff game. Later.